I'm living my life my way Fly out to a vacay Soak me up some sun rays Roll me up a good day I know you for foul play Message has been relayed Never felt so betrayed Thank God that I'm New York mate Hey guys, welcome back to my channel My name is Delilah if you're new here And today is going to be slightly a different video I always say this, I feel like So the other day I was thinking about What kind of videos can I really give you guys? I'm a homebody I stay home all the time And when I'm trying to get out the door for groceries or just some last minute plans. I have this tendency of thinking of really quick hairstyles on the spot even if my hair is kind of slept on and all messed up and stuff. So that's what I wanted to do for you guys. I wanted to show you guys some really quick and easy hairstyles just for when you're walking out the door and you don't really have time to try too much but you still want to look, you know, put together. So this is exactly the video that we are going to watch today and I hope you guys, excuse me, excuse me. I really hope you guys enjoy it and you get some new ideas from my video. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, hey guys, this is my first ever voiceover. So, you know, don't judge me. But anyway, look at me. This is what my hair looks like after I sleep on it and stay home all day and, you know, do nothing literally all day long. You see how the top of my hair is really, really straight and then the rest is really slept on and flat and we're gonna give this hair some life. That's what we're gonna do right now. Yeah, you're trying to puff it up, but it's really not working. It still looks a mess. So look at me. That is my spray bottle. I love it. It sprays mist I basically what I do is I take it and I fill it up with hot water because hot water is what gets my hair to a really nice volume and it really makes my curls pop now that will cause you some frizz but that's okay I honestly don't mind frizz especially like when I put products in it so yeah look at Shay oh how cute it's okay Shay move over move over okay look at that nice hot water mm-hmm that's right, Shay loves that spray bottle. She loves the mist. It literally is so nice. It's just mist. It's not even really a spray bottle. It's, it's magical. I love it. I love it so much. What did I ever do without it? And you're gonna see exactly how my curls transform just with water. Just with water. Literally, I'm not lying. I did not put any products in this entire video. I'm just showing you some hairstyles. Okay, so at some point I start scrunching my hair while I'm spraying so you're gonna see that right now And I continue scrunching basically just to keep the frizz down kind of you know pop out the curl a little bit And I'm gonna continue scrunching all the way until I'm done and my hair is all nice and damp and curly And I'm gonna keep scrunching until I feel like I'm satisfied with the results I am so sorry if you hear my laptop fan going off in the background. It's literally, I don't know, my, I guess it's overheating, so the fan is going off. But as you can see, I go back in with the spray bottle if I feel like fixing the frizz. And then I, if you really want to, I never really do this because I'm too lazy, but you can always take your frizz and just kind of like twist it or like curl it up with some product or whatever have you. So there's less frizz. Your curl is really malleable, especially if it's wet. Okay, here I just take a comb and literally section out my hair. It can take me some time to do that, so that's why I kind of skipped the video I'm not the greatest at parting my hair but yeah there you go and then what I'm gonna start doing is just twisting the side of my hair just like that and just twisting it back so that it kind of creates kind of like a braid look but more of a twist look so that your hair is not really in your face and it looks a little bit more put together and I take one of these clips I have a whole clip I guess collection at this point and I have so many so many different colors I use them for everything and I'll literally just clip it back I go between by Bobby pins and clips sometimes but clips are just easier just less hassle so just clip it back just like that next you would do the exact same thing to the other side and that will be your first hairstyle you could just stop there if you wanted to or you can continue into another hairstyle straight from here by the way shout out to Kehlani for the sweet sexy savage sweatshirt I love Kehlani this is one of my favorite sweatshirts so if anyone else has one yay tsunami mob Yes, okay. From here, I will just put my little ponytail in a nice bun with my little scrunchy thingy. And I'll just pull out my baby hairs just to make it more of a messy look. Maybe cover up my forehead and 
big ass face a little bit. From here, I'll just pull out the sides of my hair, my baby hairs, and they're supposed to be curled up. I'm not really sure what I did with the straightness, but some people call it Jew curls, so if that's what you refer it to, then that's what I'm talking about. And I will turn around and pull out some of my curly baby hair in the back on the bottom. I actually cut it whenever I trim my hair. I'm not really sure why I did the bun before the ponytail, but the next hairstyle will be just the same look, but with a ponytail instead. It still gives you kind of like a little schoolgirl cute vibe, I guess, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Can we also just look at how easily that scrunchie came out of my hair? I really recommend, it's really, really nice for curly hair. It really doesn't pull and it doesn't do anything crazy. And once they stretch, I can even make even bigger buns and less tight ponytails, you know? So it doesn't leave my hair really flat and nasty. Next, all I'm doing is literally braiding my hair on both sides into these, like, I guess, jumbo braids. I'm really not good at it, though. I have a lot of trouble with it. I, I hate it. I hate braiding hair, to be honest. I'm so bad at it. So ignore the really bad braiding job, but if you're good at it, then this hairstyle will look way better, <laughs> you know, with better braiding skills. But I'll do that on both sides. Honestly, I hate braiding so much that look at me my whole body started cramping up that is so embarrassing that's how you know I don't work out You can really tell I love my clips because I'll clip both of those braids back and then I'm gonna use more clips as basically a style of butterfly clips. I will just put them up there and it's a look. Well, I don't know why I like that look, but I do that actually very often. I'll just add four instead of a two and it'll look really cute, especially if they're different colors. So then I show you that you can go ahead and put it either in a ponytail or a bun, same style as the twists, and then you can even braid your hair back. I didn't really do a great job at that. I did that really quickly, but that would be the next hairstyle. All of those combined. I don't know if they're all separate, but they are pretty much different, so you can't tell me nothing. Then I will fully part my hair throughout my whole head and I'm also really bad at that as well. I just don't care enough. I try to do a decent job, but I never really look. I just kind of feel my way out of it. And I will literally just do two big buns like Princess Leia. Everybody always tells me that when I make the two buns, but I mean, I don't know if that's the only association y'all have with <laughs> Princess Leia, but yeah, I will just put my clips up right where I like them and that'll be the next hairstyle, the Princess Leia hairstyle. <laughs> Then I'm taking pretty much what I would say a halo section of my hair and just putting it back into a half up, half down hairstyle, just a little pony. And you can even turn that into a bun, whatever you prefer. You could even put it a little bit higher up on your head so you could see it better, but that is all up to you, of course. You can see me take it a little bit of a step further and I'll just literally put that half up half down hairstyle into another ponytail. So I'll have two scrunchies in there and that'll give it a slightly different look. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a different look and you can even take that a step further and turn that into a bun on the bottom instead of the extra pony. This one is just a ponytail, but I just wanted to stress the fact that all your ponytails will always make you look different. You can make a low ponytail, which would sit more at your neck. That'll make you look different from if you put it in the middle of your head, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Or if you put it all the way on top of your head, all of your ponytails and all of your buns will always make you look different. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Of course, it is always by preference. Whatever you prefer, whatever goes to your face shape and your head shape. And then you could put that back into a bun. So like I said, the the bun will look different depending on where you go and that's really what I was showing here and then since I have these bangs I'll just clip them back but this time I'll use a bobby pin because I don't want those big clips sitting on my head I want it to be less noticeable I'll use the bobby pin upside down for it to secure better in my hair as well so that's a nice trick that you can use but as you can see I have a lot of containers so if you guys want to know where I get the containers from just comment down below and I'll be more than happy to let you know I love containers I hate when my stuff is everywhere another thing to keep in mind is just the parting of your hair if you part it in the middle it'll look completely different from if you just brush it back and there is no part keep that in mind and you could also part it on the side if that is your preference
All of my clips are different sizes. I have really, really tiny clips. I have a little bit bigger, then a little bit bigger, and then I have humongous. I think I have like five different sizes of clips, so I'm obsessed. They're helpful for anything. If I feel like I'm developing a lot of frizz like in the back or even on the sides and a little curls, I'll just respray my hair with my little mist sprayer with the hot water and it'll just curl back up. So that's my little technique. So when I had the straight side curls earlier, I could have just done that. Eventually I got tired of the half part. So I just brushed my hair back into this messy, not slick back. Do you see that I still have a very messy ponytail look? So I will just put it a little bit higher. I could have put it even more higher up on my head. As you can see, it's a very messy look. You could even poke some of the annoying ones underneath your hair so that it's not as weird looking, but it'll still look pretty messy. And then I'll just pull my side curls out again. That is my go-to trick. I always pull out my little baby hairs. They'll make any look just that much better. I decided to bring it all the way up on top of my head and make a quick little messy bun for you guys. I tucked away the excess hair underneath the bun and then what I did was just use my clips to clip that in. You can even use bobby pins if you want it less noticeable but it doesn't really matter to me since I put it in the back of my bun and then it'll look like that and once again baby hair is... <laughs> For this look, it's kind of like a half up, half down hairstyle, but just a little bit less hair and also a little bit higher on my head. And then I'll just turn that little ponytail on the top. I'll tighten it a little bit so it sits even higher on my head. And that's usually what I do when I don't want my hair in my face, but I still want a lot of hair still down. So more down than up. And the last look, I use the comb to part my hair and then comb it back like a slick back bun and then I used my brush to get it even flatter down on my head and then I just put it into a low bun that's one of my favorites it's usually what I wear to interviews and things like that when I want to be a little bit more official that's kind of how I did my hair not bun but ponytail for my citizenship ceremony so that was exciting I didn't show you guys the lower ponytail but I mean you basically get to see it while I'm making the bun so those are some extra hairstyles for you as well thank you guys so much for watching this video this was my first ever voiceover let me know how i did in the comments below i hope you guys found some really interesting and easy hairstyles for your hair i did want to mention that a lot of these hairstyles are good for just about anybody curly hair straight hair wavy hair short medium long you could pretty much make all of them work with any kind of hair so i did want to point that out really quickly just in case you thought oh this is not for me this is for a girl with short curly hair it's not it's for anybody really thank you guys so much for watching once again i hope you have a great day and remember you're a guy Later. Drop to the beat, turn around, bring it back. Tasting so sweet, it's a snack, it's a snack. Ass looking fat, couldn't breathe, heart attack. Get on my knees.